โอเคครับสองหนึ่งหนึ่งใช่กว่าครับโอเค Thank you very good Lanchaban Port is a modern deep sea port, the largest in the country. Under the supervision of the Port Authority of Thailand, Lanchaban has one of the highest expansion rates for cargo transshipment, accommodating more than 7,000 cargo vessels and cruise ships annually. At present, it ranks among the world's top 20 container ports. Lanjibang Port has been in operation since 1991. The standard berths are in accordance with the development plan for Phase 1. The basin has a width of 400 meters and a depth of 14 meters at mean sea level. There are 3,600 meters for berths and a breakwater of 1,300 meters. The basin accommodates post Panamax of 30,000 to 50,000 deadweight tons and containers totaling 4 million TEUs per year. At present, 11 berths are in operation at the Lamchaban port. After the inspiring success of its initial phase, Lamchaban port has embarked on the next stage of its development. In this connection, the second and larger basin has a width of 500 meters. The berths have been expanded to a total length of 4,100 meters, and the basin has been deepened to 16 meters at mean sea level. Furthermore, the breakwater has been expanded to 1,900 meters in length. The seven berths at Basin 2 are able to handle containers totaling 6.8 million TEUs per year and they are able to accommodate post Panamax of 80,000 deadweight tons. Overall, the berths at Basin 1 and 2 can accommodate containers totaling as many as 10.8 million TEUs per year. Lanjibang has the advantage of a complete and well-linked transport system of roads and railways which connect the port with a variety of regions and producers. Ships plying coastal waters also deliver cargo to southern Thailand or carry it up the Chao Priya River. Sending cargo by rail is speedy and economical. The Lamchabang port is developing a connecting railway with a single rail transfer operator for carrying freight. Special RMG rapid on and offloading cranes will assist in handling the two million containers being processed each year. The first phase of these services will be ready in the year 2012. Lanchibang port functions both as a port of origin and a port of destination. Because 98% of the cargo throughput at Lanchibang port is imported and exported by domestic manufacturers, a backup area at the port has been designated as the Lanchibang Industrial Estate. Imported raw material which is unloaded at the port is processed into finished products and then exported through Lanchibang port. This system helps to reduce transport costs and grants tax exemption privileges as well. Consequently, investors have shown interest in renting commercial space at the industrial estate.
Lanchibang port today is serving successfully as a primary gateway to the world's economy by connecting shipping routes with global ports. Professional management by operators under the supervision of the Port Authority of Thailand includes the implementation of modern technology. The introduction of computerized programs for port operations and the installing of radio frequency identification or RFID for tracking container throughput in all routes ensures safe transport. In addition to these modern operating systems, Lam Chibang is part of the Megaport project. Facilities are in place on site to scan every container handled for any covert radioactive material which might be en route for use in terrorist weapons of mass destruction. Lam Chibang also participates in CSI, the U.S. Container Security Initiative by scanning all cargo containers with a fixed X-ray system. To ensure the safety and well-being of life and property, as well as to preserve the environment, the segregation and storage of dangerous cargo, such as chemicals, corrosives, as well as flammable gas and liquid, have been implemented in conformity with the provisions of the International Maritime Organization, the IMO. Security at Lam Chibang has been increased by the installation of closed-circuit television cameras at important points around the port. With a view to increasing the efficiency of the safety and security system in response to disasters and terrorism, Lan Chibang Port, in collaboration with other concerned external offices, has arranged for full-scale exercises annually in order to conform with the provisions of the International Ship and Port Facility Security Code, also known as the ISPS Code. In response to the Eastern Seaboard Development Plan and to encourage the promotion of business at the port, a dry dock is available with the capacity to render maintenance and repairs for post Panamax of 150,000 deadweight tons. Lam Chabang Port is also building a merchant marine museum in honor of Her Majesty Queen Sirikit. It will be a very fitting center for gathering artifacts and information about the history of merchant shipping. Furthermore, the port has a Phase 3 development project, for which study and engineering design is expected to commence in the year 2010. This project will take about four years to complete its construction. Berths will be in operation by the year 2016. Upon the completion of this project, Lam Chabang Port will have a maximum accommodation capacity of more than 18 million TEUs per year.
opening a new and vital gateway to the world's economy, Lam Chabang Port will continue to grow and develop, to raise standards, and to improve quality of service in the handling of international cargo. Already a major point of entry into the Mekong region, Lam Chabang is poised to become the Merchant Marine Center of Southeast Asia.